What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and welcome back to the UAC Man Cave. All right guys, welcome back. Now, I didn't wanna make this video until I made some pretty substantial changes to the man cave, something I can really let you guys know about, things that kind of upgraded the overall experience. You guys saw before we had a ton of stuff in here, not quite like the gamer's paradise, but enough to feel very comfortable calling this the man cave where somebody would want to just come hang out, chill, maybe play some games, watch some movies, the perfect spot for that. But we are gonna start today, not with the TV section, but with the desk setup. The desk setup has grown quite a bit compared to the previous version of this video. I think the previous version, Jay, only had the monitors and the desktop. That was pretty much it. All right, man. This whole side, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do with it. But now what we've got over here, we've got our fully dedicated editing setup so we can do our YouTube videos from here, edit them, do all that good stuff, and we can do our gaming over here. So let's talk about this side first, right? So we've got a Mac Pro over here, bought this before they dropped the Mac Studio, and you know, could have been a much smaller footprint over here, but we, we're not gonna get into that. Save a lot of money, but whatever. But all this aside, we do have the Mac Pro here, two of the XDR displays, so we've got a solid dual monitor setup. And you know, since we're jumping on Zoom calls left and right these days, I went ahead and used one of the old cameras that we had lying around. Uh, I believe this is the Sony A6500. Uh, I don't ever really use this anymore, so I decided to go ahead and prop this thing up to the monitor and use a, what is it, the Elgato Cam Link 4K. So when you've got something like this, you can have, you know, some of the best zoom calls around, the best quality ones. So I've been pretty stoked about my work from home setup. Now, in terms of peripherals, actually, we gotta give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Logitech. And guys, this is one of those moments where the sponsor works out perfectly. So what we've got right here is the Logitech MX Mechanical Wireless Keyboard, and we've also got the Logitech MX Master 3S. Now, some of you might have seen a sneak peek of these two in the last Massive Tech unboxing video, and after using it, guys, I am super stoked. So obviously, like the name implies, it's a mechanical keyboard. So they have three different kinds of switches for this keyboard. You know, the typical red, brown, and blue switches. I personally like blue switches, which are really clicky. Uh, they give you that nice tactile feel. So, so you can hear all the, the clicks. It's so satisfying. Kind of like what I get with my gaming keyboard over here. This is actually from Logitech as well. This is their Logitech G915. And I've gone on record saying this is my favorite keyboard of all time. G915, it's my absolute favorite keyboard. The G915, it is the best keyboard I've ever used. This is the Logitech G915. This thing is amazing. And I just wish that it worked for the Mac. Lo and behold, Logitech came out with a version that gives me the same feeling, but works for the Mac as well as Windows, so you can take your pick. You also get a bunch of functional keys at the top as well. You even have screenshot and, be, and the ability to make emojis pop up on your screen if you want. And what's also great is that you can pair this with up to three different devices at once. So all you have to do is hit a switch, connect to a different device, and you're able to use this keyboard with that as well. It's their like easy switch system. But we've also got the Logitech MX Master 3S. It feels like the Logitech Master 3, but this one comes with a bunch of cool new functionality that you didn't see with the previous version. So with the new Logitech Options Plus software, you can actually go in here and change a bunch of different controls. But one of my favorite things has to be the gestures where you can just pretty much swipe between all the screens that you have on your computer and it feels extremely comfortable. Even like, you hear how soft that click is? That's a nice soft Premium click. click. Is, is exactly, good. Jay, premium. Anyway, let's move on, right? So my boy John hooked me up, like amazingly hooked me up with these amazing speakers. These are the Frontiers by Output. 
And you know, I've, I've used some decent speakers in my time as a tech reviewer, but I don't think I've ever used any as good as what we've got here. These are like legitimate studio speakers, real legit monitors, and man, trying them for the first time was just mind blowing. These are amazing and they look really, really clean. It's the first time where I've had like some really solid speakers and I didn't need to add a subwoofer or anything to add that extra bass. But because my boy John hooked me up with these speakers, I needed a legitimate audio interface. So I got my hands on the Apogee Duet 3. This thing is insane. It can You can connect a lot of different things to it. It can of course drive these amazing speakers, which is exactly what I was looking for. But it also made me wanna go ahead and up my audio game in terms of my microphone as well. So I went ahead and got myself the Shure SM7B. This is like the gold standard for podcast mics. So we got one of these here on this uh, Gator Frameworks arm. I've actually got two of these arms. I got one for my gaming setup for my Twitch streaming, which I've done like four times or so. Really, really happy with just everything audio related in this setup. So when I need to do voiceovers and listen back to the videos and everything, everything just sounds so clean. And whenever I just wanna throw on some headphones, I got my AirPods Max just chilling over here. I bought this little stand off of Amazon. So it's like a nice place for it to rest. Not to mention I'm still rocking that Herman Miller Logitech chair. This thing absolutely fits perfectly with the entire setup. And we even threw up some, you know, a little bit of design stuff over here. We got these sound panels, kind of reminiscent of the Gamer's Paradise, how we had that those hexagons up top. It's not quite like that, but uh, this looks good too. I feel like it looks great. Uh, we actually pieced that together pretty quickly, me and the guys here. Now, just for the sake of being thorough, we also have this Seagate external hard drive where it has an SSD on this side, a regular hard drive over here, uh, but this thing also works as a dock. So you can plug in a ton of different Thunderbolt accessories, a uh, regular USB, uh, so that makes life really, really easy. Now let's talk about the gaming setup. So this has also changed quite a bit. Well, not a lot, a lot, but we added a giant monitor, you guys. Come on, I know you didn't miss it. Now for the few times that I have streamed, uh, this has made it really, really comfortable to go ahead and game like I normally would, because I'm not much of a PC gamer. I don't game on my PC that often. I'm more used to the console experience where I'm in front of a giant TV, so I was like, you know what, let me throw this up here so when I am streaming, when I am gaming on my PC, I got my controller on hand and I also have like my big screen so I can go ahead and game. A lot of times you'll see me, when I'm gaming, I'm standing, I'm into it. I know a lot of people are like, you're gonna break your neck, Judd. And you're not wrong, when you're sitting down, <laughs> You're looking up, you're like this the whole time. So when I do stream, you'll probably see me sitting and cranking the chair back quite a bit, kind of like this, and boom, I'm in my zone. Uh, but this monitor right here, this is, <laughs> you would think it's a TV. It's a monitor, but this is an OLED monitor. It looks really, really good. They did a really good job here. I am dying to switch out these monitors right here. They're solid, these are the Acer uh, Predator X34s from so many years ago, you guys. I should be getting some new monitors down the line, so hopefully those come in and I can swap these guys out. But for the most part, uh, this setup has been holding up really, really well. And you guys know, Typhoon is over here doing what it has to do. Uh, this is the same PC I've been rocking with for so many years. The first PC I've ever built I built it so that it could last the test of time, and it's been doing its job. Now, in terms of my streaming setup, I've got the Sony a7 III over here. Same logic as with the webcam on this computer. Now, in terms of the headset I've been using right here, I've got the Logitech G Pro X wireless gaming headset. Uh, this has been awesome to use as well. I don't have the mic on here uh, because I usually use this guy right here, uh, but this has been a really solid pair of headphones uh, that I can wear for long periods of time with no problem. Uh, but I've also got the G915, as I mentioned, and the G502. These are just what feel extremely comfortable to use. These are the actual keyboard and mouse that I use to learn how to legitimately game on a PC. Let's go!
progress, baby. Absolutely love them. And <laughs> we even got the Logitech speakers over here, Jay. It's a crazy coincidence. I know people are like, I don't believe you, Jay, but that's all I'm supposed to talk about. Everything else is just a coincidence. Now we do have the Elgato key lights over here. So it could be nice and lit. They make such a huge difference when you're streaming. Even one of these is enough. Uh, but more lights always equal better quality when it comes to cameras. Uh, and these definitely do their job. Absolutely worth every dollar. Now, I think the most interesting thing here is not only do we have like this full blown gaming setup, uh, but we also have this tiny little Xbox Series S over here. And this is what I actually use to stream my gameplay. So when I'm playing Apex Legends, I'm actually turning this guy on and I'm playing it up here, streaming through Twitch, uh, and I'm using my Xbox controller. What you mean I'm cheating, Jay? That's cheating. Nah, it's not cheating. That's where I have all of my trophies, my skins, all my good stuff is on my Xbox account. So until, okay, okay. A until Apex transfers that stuff over to the PC, okay. that's how I'm rocking out. I feel like that's everything. And our gaming chair is the same gaming chair we've been using for a long time. Uh, this is from Main Gear. Um, and this one is held up pretty well, even though, even though it's white. Right? I thought this was gonna get trashed pretty quickly, but it's been doing a really good job. This, this thing is a tank. Oh, and shout out to my Wraith heirloom over here. You know. All right, all right, that's, that's the super nerd in me. Let me just, let me, let, me, let me relax. Yeah, for the most part, that's really what this whole area is all about. We've got work and we've got play. And if you count Twitch as work, work and play, but you know, we don't do that too often. Now, if you've seen my previous Man Cave video, which goes over all of the tech in this room and not just the upgrades like in this video, then you know that most of the tech here is controllable using Alexa. So I can just turn everything on or off with just a voice command whenever I come into the room. And I do this with all of the spaces that I add tech to, as we've documented on the channel plenty of times, but if you guys wanna learn how to do the same thing with your own room or home, I actually have a course where I go over all of the ins and outs of how to make your own space teched out with awesome smart home gear. So if you've ever wanted to get into the smart home space, but you didn't know how, my course goes over it all step by step so you can have a man cave or gamer's paradise like you've seen on the channel and start having your room do things for you and make your home not only cool, but seriously functional. Links for that will of course be in the description. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Uh, we, you know, do have cameras in here, so we're able to capture content as well. If we're not in the studio, we're fully prepared to do work from home. Now, you guys might've seen this thing before. What we've got right here is the Kensington Studio Dock. Uh, for the iPad, so you can go ahead and use this thing. You can make a full desk setup out of this if you wanted. Uh, this thing is absolutely insane. It's really, really expensive. Uh, but, oh, no. oh, oh, my Gundam. Yo, how did I spend all that time without even mentioning my Gundams? That's kind of wild to me. I just realized that I haven't mentioned them not once. We'll talk about Gundams in just a second. Actually, we'll talk about Gundams next. But this thing is pretty cool because you get a ton of different ports. You can turn it around, position it in all kinds of different ways. That's where the iPad lives over here. Sometimes I use this as a baby monitor uh, when I'm down here and I need to keep an eye on Austin while he's sleeping. Uh, so this thing has been really awesome to have. Uh, shout out to EA Gunpla. Uh, for these dope custom Gundams over here. Let's give a quick second to talk about the fanatic in me, right? The Gundam lover. Uh, so here's an addition to the man cave that you guys have not seen before. So we added some acrylic shelves to the top of this area where we just got a whole ton of Gundam lined up. Uh, my boy Jared actually hooked that up. Jared actually came here and did a ton of different work. We'll talk about some of his contributions on the other side in a bit. Uh, but I was really happy with this, you know, just a nice cool shelf to put some of my Gundams, just a small fraction of them, kind of just living up there. I think that's dope. But over here, you guys, this is where you vibe out. This is where you're chilling. You're not working on stuff. There's no work involved here. This is where you chill and you sit down on the couch, you relax and you just vibe 
out. We've actually went ahead and upgraded the TV that we have over here. So Ari actually got me this as a Christmas gift not too long ago. So Jared came over, he helped me get this thing mounted. We threw up some of the hexagons behind it to give it a little bit of a flare, as well as, you know, we gotta throw in some RGB strips in the back. I'm actually thinking about removing those and getting them redone so they look a little bit neater. But that's what we've got going on for right now. I absolutely love gaming on this TV. But not only did we update the TV, but we changed the entire sound system around here. Now, before we had like those small little Sono speakers. So I was talking over with Jared and we thought it would be absolutely amazing to get some real dedicated surround sound in here. So we figured why not go with a system that we know works and that we have experience with already. So we got our hands on a bunch of clip speakers. Uh, so similar to what we've got going on in the home theater, we've got full clip speakers with these towers over here. We've got, actually we've got four of these. So what's great about these clip speakers right here is that they have Dolby Atmos built into it. So these giant towers also have speakers up top. It's a game changer, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. After we hooked it up, Jared dialed everything in. All the settings were tuned to the way it should be. Ooh, man. Not only is watching content great in this space, but gaming. Gaming is next level in here, you guys. Even though we've got gaming headsets over here, we can game with gaming headsets. If I throw on a game of Apex, I still feel like I can know when somebody's behind me, somebody's to the left, the right, I can hear all of that. My spatial awareness is exactly the same as it is with the gaming headset on. It is just the wildest experience and I wish I could do it more often. But my kid sleeps a lot and Ari complains a whole lot more. I can use this sometimes to its full potential, uh, but a lot of the times I'm using this or just watching movies. And everything here is powered by this guy over here. We've got our Pioneer VSX LX305. There's no way I was gonna remember that. I had to read that off over here. Uh, but we've got all of our speakers hooked up to this. All of our consoles, everything is going through this guy and it's been able to handle everything absolutely perfectly. We'll be set for life. Like this thing can handle IMAX, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, like everything that you want to, to be able to pull off, uh, this guy has the power to do IMAX. it. Yeah, Jay. Why are we gonna play IMAX? Listen, man, it doesn't, we, we, we have the power, we have the technology, okay? So if you're looking to get your hands on a dedicated home theater system, and you need the right amps and all that good stuff, look no further, you guys. I can even airplay some music to this, Jay. Uh, we've got the Series X, the Halo edition, and we did some customizations to the PS5, so it has like this nice huge glow to it. The PS4 and the Xbox One X, I don't know why those are still there. We gotta get rid of those, actually. Uh, but we're, we're pretty much good to go when it comes to gaming. Uh, not to mention, we also have our you know, perfect grades over here. So you guys might have seen this in the previous one. Uh, the Gundam Obsession continues. Actually, the Gundam Obsession is much worse than what you've seen so far. Because we actually have a completely dedicated desk setup to everything Gundam. Uh, so this is like my Gundam building area. So you guys know a lot of my Gundams are model kits. So this is where I take the pieces, put them together, build them up, make them the little figures that you guys see all over the place. Not to mention we've got a dedicated gaming PC towards Gundam. Um, we've got a ton of figures up here, um, but this is where I build them. And Jay, remember how you said I wasn't gonna build that other Gundam until like years later? Uh -huh. You're right. Oh, yeah. I didn't build that. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I haven't added a single piece onto this guy ever since I got it. So. Good B-roll buddy. <laughs> B-roll buddy. We even have our Gundam phone over here. This is just like the Gundam shrine. Not to mention, we got this cool new neon light uh, with a Gundam head. Yeah. I'm obsessed, okay? <laughs> what, whatever. Everybody has their thing, okay? Um, huge shout out to New Type Tim, I guess. My boy Tim over on Instagram. He actually put me onto this really dope desk lamp. Uh, so with this lamp, you can actually just power it on and you can get a ton of light. So if I'm late night building and I'm just working on putting some kits together, 
I haven't done that yet since getting it, but I'm ready to do it. Uh, this is actually really cool. Not only is it really bright, um, but you can change the temperature and it's super flexible. Like, look at this. You can move this and position it however you want. But yeah, this is the Gundam. This is like the Gundam desk shrine. Uh, one other thing that we've added to the man cave, shout out to my in-laws. Uh, they actually bought me an arcade so I can play some old school Marvel versus Capcom. Listen, you don't want to see me on this, okay? I'm too good, Jay. Yeah, man. A lot of these kids are like, what's an arcade? <laughs> no, no, no. Apple, Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is all they know, right? <laughs> I grew up with arcades in pizzerias and just available for us to play. And it's been super cool to have this. This feels like something I need to have in the gamer's paradise. Uh, but the nostalgia just, you hear that old school music? And I think it has multiple games on it, actually. I guess that's kind of it for the man cave, right? Those are all the things that we've added and changed. Huge shout out to Jared for kind of helping get all this stuff together. Uh, we did a lot of talking and planning and just a lot to make this place the way it is right now. One thing I almost forgot, you guys. So we've got this thing over here. So this piece of art right here, this is from a company called Grid Studio, where they basically take some retro old school gaming stuff, tech, and you, they disassemble it and make it into an awesome artwork like this. But where do I put it? Like, that's been my struggle. Where do I put this? Can one of you guys please just make some cool suggestions? I don't know where I should put this, but I really wanna put this up somewhere. But this is it for the man cave. So we've talked about our desk setup over here, you know, work, gaming, entertainment, more gaming, Gundams, more gaming, arcade for more gaming, uh, and one more entertainment spot that we've got. You guys have probably seen the full dedicated video on this, but we've also got a full-blown home theater over there on that side. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked down below in the description. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This one has been a long time coming. And I like the direction. I feel like there's one more of these band cave updates to go. I've got some more upgrades in mind that I want to implement in here. And I'm pretty excited for you guys to see those in the future. But that about wraps it up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys would change. Let me know your thoughts, feedback, what you think. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. Oh, Jay, why would you say that, man? Why would you do it? When? <laughs> no! When we get the new studio, okay? Yeah. <laughs>